Hey, what is up guys? It is Cyrus HD and welcome back to the skate park. So, without further ado, we're going to jump straight into finishing off this DJ booth and the main office. So, the first box that you want to go and grab is a jukebox. You want to grab a jukebox. You want to also grab some uh, iron blocks. You want to grab some, some redstone comparators. We'll grab some repeaters. We'll grab some redstone. And we'll grab a lever. And we'll also grab some bushes. So we'll just grab some spruce leaves. And we'll also grab a bookshelf. Like that. And uh, we'll, we'll just start on that. We'll start on that. Anyway, right here, overlooking the whole skate park, is we're going to place two iron blocks. Two and one will we'll actually move back. Like that. So two from the wall here, two from the wall there. Okay. Then with our mixer box, what we're going to do... Actually, I'm not too keen on that. I'm going to do it like that. Yes, sir. -y. I'm happy with that. And I'm going to actually grab some note block as well. Put my note block on either side. So you got your DJ box here. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Right, so we've got that happening with the um, repeater. Maybe we'll put that one here like so. So you can actually change the decks or whatever. And I'm going to put a microphone like that. So everybody hear the fucking noise. Doom, doom, doom. Yeah, we've got that happening. All right, now with the redstone, I'm going to bring that here to here. So it's connected into the speaker. Actually, I'm going to bring it to that point. There. And we'll connect that there as well. So it's connected to the two speakers that are hanging up on the wall. With the actual bookshelf, I'm going to place one bookshelf here. And they're going to symbolize CDs and records and whatnot. And I'm just going to bring out four just like that. I think that'll look pretty cool. With a cauldron, I'm going to grab one of them, pop a cauldron in the corner with the bushes, one, two. Let's go up a third one, just like that. So we've got a bit of a DJ spot happening. On top of here, I've got to furnish this. I'm going to grab some glowstone and pop that here. So we can just actually put in some glowstone. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, four by four. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, we'll just pop glowstone in there. We can actually put in pictures, which we'll do later on. Got that. I'm going to furnish the flower pot, and I'll just chuck in a fern. Flower pot on the top, fern inside. I'm just going to grab a bit of grey carpet as well, just to tidy it off in there like so and we'll pop that on there beautiful okay so we've got a little little area in here i don't want to go too much overboard on the actual interior for the dj box because it's usually just records and stuff uh however i'm just going to lay a bit of carpet here and here with a bit of blue inside cool i'm happy with that and maybe an item frame the item frames right here. We'll just put an item frame in there because we can. Now, you can, if you wanted to, as well, give an extra bit of texture with the actual signs. Um, pop a sign on the side here and there as well, just to tidy it off a little bit more. And here as well. And if you wanted to, oh, you can't put one there. Uh, let's see, maybe. I'll fiddle around with that. But we'll grab some signs, finish that off on the actual box, and then just grab yourself a picture. Pop that on the front of the DJ box. Whatever picture you want. Yeah, that looks cool. The puzzler. DJ puzzler. Awesome. All right. Now, moving over to this section here, I'm just going to clear my blocks really quickly, grab some... Uh, quartz stairs and a quartz block 
and maybe a slab as well. I'm not going to go overboard on this as well guys, I'm just going to do a basic standard desk. It comes in like that and then I'm just going to pop in something like that so it's got a bit of a edging. Uh, maybe I'll bring that up and put a picture there if we wanted to or better yet we'll put shelves. So how I'm going to make my shelves guys is, uh, let's see, I'm just going to grab some iron bars and some carpet. World Edit is really good for this kind of thing. Uh, let's grab some black. I'm just going to pop some iron bars here and here. Uh, let's see if I can use World Edit. No, I don't think I can. I'll just do that. Got a bit of a shelf happening up the top. Here, on the other hand, I'm going to put down a picture. Grab myself a pressure plate, pop my pressure plate down, just a picture there, and uh, a picture here. Oh, I better not put porno up on there. Yeah, they're all plugged into the same thing. Put that there. And with the chairs, you just grab that with a wooden door. Pop that at the back, just like that. So, got a bit of a platform here. And we need some more textures, so we're going to actually grab some flower pots. We'll grab uh, another fern, because I love my ferns. Let's grab, put one here. Nice fern. And put one here as well. Little fern. Beautiful. Okay, now up the top here, we're going to dig out this, like so. And we'll fill that with glowstone. And we'll put another picture in at the top as well. And you can do the same here as well if you wanted to. Just going to pop that in. And at the back here as well. Now I'm just digging out holes, guys, to put glowstone in to actually get the uh, light. So he's got plenty of light in here for his office. You've got the actual DJ booth here. You could separate this if you really wanted to with some more white glass just to separate it off from the DJ room close that off as well just like that or we can close that off here just like that something different something completely different uh, right here what we're gonna do I think is let's see we're just gonna put some ordinary doors here you know, let's grab some of these doors which we already had and we'll pop that there why are they like that pull them back Come on, here and here, that's better. No? Door handles are weird. All right, well anyway, we've got that happening and uh, I prefer them here. Yeah, grab some slabs and just run that across the front. And we can run them across the back. Or should we just use glass? Glass blocks. Glass? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm coming back to that. I'll leave that. But we've got the doors leading up to the uh, office now. Beautiful. Happy days. Pictures will come later on. Same with the roof. Roof will come later on. Okay, moving into that. We've got the DJ box happening now. So as you can see, it looks all nice and tidy. Pictures yet to come. So let's move into a window down here so we can put the Lords of Dogtown symbol up on the actual wall. We're going to follow on from the same thing down there as well. So let's do that. Um, I'm just going to click through my pictures real quick and get my bearings wherever the hell I am. Right, so what I'm going to do, same thing applies again. I'm going to come away from one block. And come out by 20. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now, I could do it like that. However, I got well at it. And I'm just going to go and copy and paste. So let's just grab all this. So from here to this point. Like that. 
make it something to stand on to. Like that. And I'm going to go slash slash copy. Blocks have been copied. Go all the way back down to the end. La -dee da -dee da. Right down to the end right here. Bring that out. Go in. Slash slash paste. Happy days. All done. And it's just a matter of getting brick from the outside. So from there to that one. Hit cut. There we go. That just saved a hell of a lot of time. And it's the same measurements as the other end, guys. If you're wondering if I just copied and pasted, it's the same measurements as down there. Loving it. Okay, now we can move into the Lords of Dogtown symbol. Uh, a lot of people have been waiting for that one. <clears throat> so if I can just find it. Okay, we have got it. So what you want to do is you want to come to the top edging. And uh, actually, no, you're going to come back down. Clear this crap first. Come on, Z, get with it. We need to grab some blue wool. So let's grab some of that. And what you want to do is come over and knock out two blocks from the top. Placing your two blocks. Okay, then you want to come out by two blocks. One, two. Fill them in. Fill that in. And then come out by two blocks. So you've got that sort of pattern happening. Now what you want to do is you want to run a pattern all the way down to the bottom. Come through all of this, all the way down here. And that's going to be there like that. So you want to have all the way to there. Okay. And then from the bottom, you want to come across by three, two, say three, four. Just like that. All right. Uh, we're going to match that in. And then we're going to come across by one. And that should be in line with the top. Oop. Beautiful. We are matched perfectly. Now, you can actually world edit that in if you've got world edit. or just fill it all in blue. I'm just going to do mine real quickly. All the way down to here. We're looking at 35.3. Set 35.3. Right. Beautiful. Happy days. So that's the width on the actual down part. And then I think we're going to put our letters in. And we're going to start off with the word town. So grab your slabs and come on the second block in and just bring that across like so. All right. And then I'm going to come down again to make it a full block. And then down again by two and a half. Just like that. All right. Underneath, we're going to come out by four. So it's going to be four block width. I'm going to bring that down by three. And then bring that up as well. Just like that. I think it's three. Yeah, three. Now, from here, it's just another block down. We're just going to run that down like so. So what have we got? One, two, three, four. Yeah, four. And then we're going to grab some stairs. I'm trying to remember how I did this. Grab some stairs. And then turn that around here, like so. Turn that one around, and then follow that back up. Right to the top. There's the W. And with the N, let's grab some proper blocks. We're going to come down one block. We're going to come across by two. We'll come down one, two, three, four. Fill that into here and run that down as well. So we've got the word town happening. And we can space this out. So I'm going to move that down. Let's move it all down by one block. So slash move one down. 
Yeah, we'll do the same again. From here to here. Slash one down. And from here to here. Move one down. Beautiful. Okay, so it's an actual two space gapping between them all. Okay, and there's your town word. Right, now, with your blue wool, you want to come to this, point, corner, point, this corner point of the letter zero. And then you want to bring out and you want to type one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to drop down, come out by one. And we'll do the same again right at this point. Like that. Fill that all in. And just chop out all of that. And filter that in as well. Okay, so now we can actually do the letter G. So we leave one space and we're going to come out all the way to that point. So we've got to leave a bit of an edging. Bring that down like so. Bring that right across to that point and then just bring it up. And there's the letter G. Okay. Now we'll do the same again. So we've got to leave a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 space from this point. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Bring that down. And then do the same again. There, like that. Which is 1 down again. Like that. Dig all that out. Fill it all in with blue. There we go. So we've got that. Now we've got to do the, the letter D. So once again, come to this corner point here, leave a space and do that. Bring it all the way down to that position. I think but have a one space gap, so it's from there to there. Just like that, we've got to bring this over by one block. There we go. Dogtown. Jay Adams, Stacy Peralta, Tony Alva. Hell yeah, gotta love it. Right, so that's the Dogtown symbol going, guys. And you can jazz it up as well if you want to do other things in here as well. By putting an extra bit of color or whatever you want to do. It's up to you. You can do whatever. Right, so we've got the two windows down on either end. Now we can do the next window here in the center. Um, I'm not going to bother doing that because it's going to take time for me to find the center. But you want to put another window in the center. Smack in the center. All right. Um, and if you haven't done it, I'll probably do it at the later stage anyway. Right, I'm going to move into doing a skate ramp now, uh, moving into this corner. And this is going to be a big one, so uh, I'm just going to clear all this and grab all the stuff that I actually need. I need my birchwood planks, I need my birchwood slabs, and I need my birchwood stairs. And we'll get started on that. Now I'm going to come out pretty far, so I'll probably second block in and I'm just going to put my marker down just like that and I'm going to do the same again over here and put my marker right next to the black down the bottom and that's how big this is going to be it's going to come right out so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some trusty world edit really quickly uh, 5 slash 2 so I'm going to come from here I'm going to come out to about this point Set 5 colon 2. I'm just going to run that all the way to the corner. Right. Beautiful. Happy days. Uh, and I'm going to bring that out as well to about here. Just, what's that? One, two blocks away from that. And I'm just going to do the same again. So we're going to have this corner bit, just like that. Right, now, slabs. Slabdy slab slabs. I'm going to come in one, two, three, four. On the fifth one, I'm just going to bring that out. 
by leaving a two space gap. I'm going to run that all the way just after, probably two after the corner po point right here. And I'm going to bring that out like that. Bring it in by, say, three, and then close that off right across. Just like that. Yeah, I'm pretty cool with that. This corner point here, I'm just going to bring out and make it into a bigger whoop, a corner section. So it just looks like it's all wrapping around. Everything looks really, really good. And do that. Right, now, next thing what we've got to do is we've got to filter that through like so and then put another layer of slabs on the outer edge of what we just actually made. So you're inside and you're just going to layer some slabs just like that. Bring it in. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come to the top corner here and we're going to leave a one, two, three, four, on the fifth space, we're going to place three stairs. Right behind that, some blocks, and blocks again, and blocks again. So as you see, we're coming up, right like so. Then we're going to put stairs, we're going to place some more blocks, and another set of stairs on top. And on top of here, dig out this and put in your three blocks of wood. So we've got this little ramp coming in straight from over here up to this point. Now we can put slabs in here, uh, but I'm gonna just put four blocks just like that and put a slab in there. So you've got this little corner point. I'm probably sounding very confusing guys and I do apologize. Um, it's just I've got a lot to get through in this episode. So we've got that and that happening like that. So we've got a small ramp into a miniature ramp. And we'll just dig out this and pop that in there as well. Beautiful. Actually, we can bring this up higher as well. Just like that. All right. Same thing applies again. We're just going to place three slabs. Might put another three inside. Put up a little stair put in a full block and another set of three stairs. So we've got this little ramp either side. One's completely different than the other and just fill it in like so again. Now this is the biggest part of the section. We are going to build the big, big ramp that's gonna come probably, let's see, right up to this point. Yeah, I think it's at that point. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. First thing what we're going to do is we're going to grab our um, slabs. We're going to put another set of slabs right across, then into our stairs. Just like that. Then we're going to grab a block. We're going to fill in that with block. And I think what we might do is come up with another block, but add a slab just on there as well. Okay. This does get a bit confusing even for myself to do. I'm trying to calculate exactly how the ramp is actually going to look. So we've got the stairs and I think what we might do then is just bring that up. Like so. Just like that. Leading into a stair leading up like that. Or is it another block? I think it's into another block and then we dig out all of this. Yep. Chop, 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 chop. So we've got a nice big wall ride going up. I think that's I swear that's a stair. I think that's a stair. So 
to come down up the big ramp back down again and in here we just fill that off with slabs and blocks you could even actually do another one of these if you wanted to just like that beautiful all right now in here what we're going to do after we just close this off we're going to wrap wrap around a corner and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring out some slabs a bit further on in close that off so we've got a bit of a, a nice runway leaving up some curving just like that and then we'll put in our stairs like that so it's going to start coming up right uh, bend our stairs around maybe the other way just like so so we can actually connect that through just like that that's beautiful that's how I wanted it come on Z you got it buddy right now slabs or full blocks all the way through so we can elevate all this up bah, 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 bah. close that off here we'll do one section at a time Right, so we've got that little bit of elevated platform, one, two, and three. Now we're leading up to this part, so uh, let's continue to fill this in real quick. Da, 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 and there, right. Next step is slabs. So we're gonna grab our slabs and we're gonna come out to this point and bring them out. Uh, where is it? To about here. And we're going to bring that out. Actually, no, I'm going to chop that. Bring it in a bit closer, probably two in. Like that. Da, 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 da. Right, so we've got that fourth elevated platform. Loving it, jubble it. Cover that in. I have to be honest, this one is doing my head in. It's been a pain in the ass. Right, now, we have to grab our slabs again, bring that up by one, fill that in. Ugh, lost so much filling in. Right, so we've got that sort of pattern happening. And there again, we'll bring that out, connect that in like so. You, can, you guys can actually make it how big you want it or smaller than you want it, it's up to you. But now we're gonna start using our stairs to go up and into the wall just like this and we might filter that around like that close that off in there grab some wooden blocks bring that in so we've got a nice little bit of elevated platform here and we can grab our stairs and start working our corner So we've got that nice little edge inside, just like that. And we put this going right across as well. Uh, let's we might put one in here and in here as well. Close that off. Not too keen on that bit there. That works. Fill that in there like so. Connect all this in. I think that will look a lot better if it's all connected in. And maybe run that through just like that yeah I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that let's make this elevate up so you're coming in up over yeah I'm happy with that I am happy with that Beautiful, beautiful. So we've got that little bit happening. Confusing, very confusing. But I think you guys will get the gist of it. Uh, I'm not too keen on this sharp bit here. Uh, let's see. We put that there maybe. Connect that in. Bring that over. That will work. 
that fits. Yeah, that fits. Maybe we can bring out... Oh, okay. If we dig out this one... Put a slab. Bring the slab down further. Take out that one. Take out that one. That looks a bit better. It's just a matter of molding it, guys. Really, it's it's just a matter of what flows and what doesn't flow. This corner here doesn't look like it flows all that well, though. It just looks like there's a big chunk. Oh, I'll fiddle around with that. I will fiddle around with that, and um, I'll fix that all up. So, I think... Uh, what we should do now is have a look at doing another sort of skate ramp. I'm going to try and build this skate ramp here. I want to make this a long episode so I can get a lot more done in it. Uh, so I'm going to calculate from this point. I'm just going to grab a different color block. And let's calculate. So from the corner, one, leave a space, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Right, I'm only meant to go to 12. Mm, 12, 12, 12. And that's why. If we bring that back, chop out that one, we should be in line with that. That will equal out to be 12. Beautiful. I think that's what I'm going to do on the next episode, guys. I'm going to actually do this skate ramp right here. It's going to be a double double ramp. We're going to do that. Um, I'm going to put the window in off camera. It's just a matter of doing the same window as you've done on the end in the middle. So I'll do that off camera. Make clean adjustments on there. I might just keep it as is because that looks pretty cool. And on the next episode, guys, I think we will do this skate ramp and we'll put a skate ramp over in that corner as well. Put another one over the back here. And uh, I think that we can start putting on the roof as well on the next episode. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to high five that like button, place a comment down below and check out all my other Let's Builds on the actual series of the Let's Build a Skate Park in case you've missed anything. I'm Zyrus HD, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.